just about to go on a road trip to a new permission. Hopefully a bit of ratting and maybe some daytime pigeon and corvid shooting. Dave is in good order look. <laughs> Elvis Thomas. Hi guys, I'm down in Oxfordshire with my friend Robert G and uh, he's got a rat problem. Yep. Um, that's it. I'm very pleased that David's come along. Um, I'm sure as we go around we'll see that it's, it's an um, infestation of rats, which um, having seen what you're capable of doing, uh, hopefully we'll sort out a lot of the problems we've got. And you see that through the YouTube channel? Through the YouTube channel, absolutely cool. excellent. Brilliant. Yeah, really good. Yeah. So let's go and have a look then. Yeah. Okay. That's going to swing around that way. Yeah. Should we have a look around then? Yeah, have a look around there. Yeah, so we're going to show you, this is a grain store. These are all grain stores. Rob, 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 Bert. Robert. Do you have that? So, um, we can see. Do, but I don't think they've got enough. We're walk you along the edge. This so is just you'll see walking. what generally happens as you empty the grain store, yeah. where the cleaner is and all that stuff. I always switch the lights on. They just heave in there, and then and then there's a crap everywhere and so on. This is um, a really bad, as you can see. So they haven't started doing it yet. Infestation. And also, I've got that. Uh, there's a wire hatch. You know, we're not mistaken. Here, look. If you watch, look here. Hatch, you you see the, there, the run all the way. But what I'm going to try and do is clear uh, some of the grain in there as the seed for spring planting. Yeah. Once I've cleared that, I'll try and get everything out and I'll get a, a road compressor. Yeah. Blow the whole place out. Oh. I'm trying to get as clean as possible. Just yeah. everywhere else. One week yeah. yeah. I mean, I've seen the time to my Right. Well, that'd be good. Uh, yeah, my son, he's singing in um, Oxford. He's, uh, he's um, doing performance tonight. Some got. more stuff. See, this is all fresh, been dug out. Yeah. Yeah. Absolute everywhere. So how many families here. have we got here? Because uh, aren't they they're social, aren't they? And then yeah, territorial, they are, yeah, and, they, they have a and then we'll show you in here. Yeah. This is uh, for the poo. And you can see the wood there. Look where they've chewed. They go through the wire. All the poo there. Yeah. 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 It's just goes on and on and on. It's just endless amount of damage. They run along here. See here. And then this pile here of rocks absolutely crawling with them. That's just outside. So they won't even know they're there. Yeah. When they see, they're not going to see a red light and associate that with danger. No. And, and run off. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like now we've got the uh, the Black Ops one. Do you silence them, as yeah. well? Do you, do yeah, you, the yeah, silence. Silence. yeah, because I know I've seen rabbit shooting done with two twos or something. Yeah. Yeah. And with the silencer, you can shoot one, and the one next yeah. to it has yeah. any idea that anything's gone on. I think my record was about 14, and that was uh, one of these magazines for HW100. Right. With, How uh, many shots going there? 14. Yeah. Oh, right, okay, yeah. With the night sight. Right. And, and you put every one, one, everyone bang, was a good bang, one. Bang, yeah. With yeah. a silenced rifle, yeah. Yeah. The night yeah. vision we use is amazing. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Well, if it's the same as what you did on the uh, one of your videos or whatever. It is, yeah. It's, yeah it's and the it's the fact you do version. headshots every time, yeah. isn't yeah. it? It's just, which yeah, is what you want to see. Yeah. yeah I, it's yeah. got to be far kinder than poison. Yeah. You know, yeah. poison is oh, yeah. just disgusting stuff, really. Yeah. So, this is obviously around the other side. We came in there. Uh, well, we used to do that the see the ferals on the roof waiting uh, to be shot. Queuing up. And then we're going to go inside these later on. And down there where they're everywhere. Um, there's a plastic tub over there, one of those plastic tubs. Oh yeah, that'd be fine, yeah. 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 And just yeah. You can put them in there and then you can, you can burn them. Yeah. Or, so, or bury them. hopefully, when it gets dark, yeah. the Brocock Compato target yeah, exactly. and Davies HW100 are going to have a few kills. 
using the new Night Sight Dark Ops Viper for Davy, and I'm using the Night Sight Wolf Artek. Okay, the good thing about this new permission is if I just turn the camera around, you can see down there this grain store is empty, but from here to probably the back wall is about I should say 25 30 meters. So we've got an indoor range as well to check zero. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think I was telling Simon, aren't we? Yeah. Air powered yeah. rifles, yeah. yeah. Rather than the 2-2s. I've been doing it since I was 13 and I'm 45, and you've been doing it since you were young as well, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah I had a small well. break, yeah. <laughs> yeah You're about 60, down. aren't you? Apparently <laughs> 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 he's got younger since I last saw him. I'm younger than Robert. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is. Davy, and there's a couple of ferals up there, so just while we're here, go on then, mate, whenever you're ready. Nice and clean. That's one. The other one will be back in a moment. HW100. Nice headshot, half a mil that I hold under for that. Okay, well, here's that uh, pigeon you see me shoot. It's around about 20, 25, 20, 25, 22 yards. Perfect place shot them straight for its head. So we're just going to run through quickly uh, the rifles. I've already mentioned them briefly, but tell us a little bit about this yours. Is, uh, my HW100 uh, 177 standard model with a MTC 4B1650. And you're going to be using the Dark Ops Viper tonight. I'm going to be using the Dark, uh, Dark Ops Viper tonight, yeah. For the first time. Uh, and we're going to get loads of rats tonight. I just got that feeling. And I've got. Brocock Compato Target, 177, Hawk Vantage 2 to 7 by 32 AO scope, and I'm using the Night Sight Wolf Artec. This is, on air, is a, a marksman silencer from AM Custom Gun Swift. It's very quiet. Cool. It's very quiet. Okay, what I've done is the rock pile I've shown you earlier on in the light. I've set up and I'm zeroed, I've checked zeroed at 26 metres, so about 28, 29 yards. Uh, and what I've done is behind me, I don't know if you can see, I just have to, you'll see just there, there's some houses. And the houses have got the, the lights on and they're directly in line with the back of me to where I'm shooting. So even if the uh, rats do happen to see a slight glow from the 850 nanometer IRs, they'll probably think it's the houses. Well, it'll look like the houses what they're used to seeing. So I should be able to get some shots so they can pat them at them. Now, I'm going to be using my shooting sticks, which is not the steadiest shooting platform, but I should be able to get one or two on this rock pile, I'm sure. Let's see how we get on. See if I can get a rat trick. Three for three. Two for two. Oh, I missed me rat trick. Wobbled on the sticks.
tu mãe. No, I've got it down low. Uh, yeah, it's it's on uh, high IR, but I've got the screen down low. Oh, yeah. It makes it clearer, doesn't it? Yeah. That's what I was saying. I was just recording then. They've gone. They've both just gone back in. Because I've been chatting. Oh, huh. that stopped him dead. You could possibly get a rat trick here. They go in the uh, they go in, you hit them. Yeah. And it's hard to uh, get them out. I think I can, I've seen, when I've been over there, I've seen two. Right. Out of all the ones I've shot. So they're falling back in the crevices of the rocks. Yeah. This is Davy, this is where I film my magazine up, having a go in the rock pile. See any? You get him? Yeah, but I did press record. <laughs> Forgot to press record. <laughs> did he come out of the rock pile? Yeah, I Cool. I've seen two, definitely, but I've shot loads. A lot of them I've hit, and I've heard them. You know when you hear that crack when it hits the skull? And then, but they've gone down the hole. Sometimes I, I also believe that when you're talking just like this, yeah. That sometimes it encourages to come out, encourages them to come out. Black, black. Could have been straight through its head and hit a rock. Yeah, I've, I've had a few of them, I think. So this is looking on Davy's screen on his uh, Viper Dark Ops. I'm just filming with uh, Sony Handycam. And he's actually got it turned down there. Really nice picture, actually, on this on the screen. I've got the IR up. Oh, there's one. Oh, oh he just poked his head in, didn't he? He's back out again. <laughs> got him, mate. Straight on the head. Yeah, I've got the IR on full. But, but the, the screen, screen turned down. down. Yeah. And I'm, I'm no more than probably... Did you press record then? Yeah, not even a quarter of a turn yeah. away from 
uh, screen illumination look. So we'll go right down there, it's on. Yeah. I'll just give it not even a five five mil rotation. Yeah. And I bet you there's hardly any light whatsoever on that Viper. It's only got one eye on it. Mm -hmm. But at 28 yards, there's plenty of light if you turn it up, isn't there? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Oh, yep. Okay, we've just done a little experiment uh, off camera with the uh, Viper Dark Ops. <coughs> and with the rifle safe and not loaded, I went down to the rock pile at 26 metres, 28 yards away, uh, and we tried to see the IR. Where did you have it? Uh, just the centre there, that, that, that high rock. No, I mean, um, how far up was it? Uh, probably not even, uh, it was a quarter of a rotation. Quarter of a rotation and it was totally invisible, couldn't see it at all. But you could see me clearly, couldn't you? Yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. yeah there's I'll, one, there's one. See that, and that's only a quarter of a rotation. Oh, yeah. Got one here. Shot. Ooh. Nice no, shot. <laughs> Another one. 28 yards, wasn't it, or 28 metres? It's 28, uh, 28 yards, yeah, 26 metres. But yeah, there's no visible light whatsoever on that Viper. It's got obviously one IR, but you could see me clearly and brightly. So, yeah, impressive. Them rats cannot see him at all, he's totally invisible. It's good, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so, do you like it then? Yeah, yeah, very much. So thumbs up from Davy then. Another one, is it? Yeah, there's that many holes in them rocks, isn't there? There he is. Oh! <laughs> yeah, you can tell that crunching noise, can't you, as it yeah. pellet 
That's it jumping about, isn't it? That's somebody, yeah. That's their fault. <laughs> That's their fault. <laughs> for being rats. Yeah, for being rats. <laughs> There's another one. Oh, yeah. You recording? Once I get a uh, clear it's shot. Still not recording, yeah. Uh, Otherwise, we're just wasting the recording. Loads of footage for you to look through. There you go. Yeah, that's recording. That's a nice big one. Oh, oh empty! empty. Found this log pile. So Dave is looking at a log pile, and uh, we've had two. Logs. I heard you uh, dig cock. Yeah, I know, I didn't. <laughs> Poked one. <laughs> is it still recording? No. You must have recorded my shot. Yeah, I did. Oh, good, because I forgot yeah. to press record. <laughs> I'm lying down, like I say. To he forgot to cock. <coughs> so if you forget to cock, you lose the shot. <laughs>
<laughs> on the move. Just enough of your head. Well done. Thank you very much. Standing unsupported. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, I, I just might get a shot here. Oh, I just might got him. You didn't record it. Good job I did then. <laughs> There's another one. We got another one. Might get a rack hook here. Oh, he's just run. Oh, I was filming that at all. I was just about to uh, shoot that myself. Dang, you poached it. I filmed it and all. Yeah, I was about to shoot that bugger. Did you? Oh, look at that. Oh, mate, that was a cracking shot. The target. Target's out of the rat. See that one? Yeah. You see it? Oh yeah, I see it. No, I hit him straight in the forehead. Yeah. Well, let's see this right here. I've just shot this right. What they're doing, just to my left here, is a, a grate on a window. They're coming through the window. At the back of this unit, up onto the top. See the dark area on the corner of the block work, up to the block work. There's a, a ledge there, and they've gone through the ledge and under the roof into the grain store. Um, I've just got that one. He'd come from the right side and went up. And I've just got him as he uh, tried to cut the wall. But I didn't get the record button quick press quick enough. On the roof again. <laughs> Poached again. <laughs> I'll get you back to poaching mine earlier. That one. Was it that one you was going for? Yeah. Oh, I must apologise for that. I got it on uh, <laughs> Yeah, I can see him. Shot. There he is, coming forward. Well, guys, uh, that's the end of the first visit. We've come in. Uh, it's 31 rats here. Um, probably about another 12. What we 12, yeah, we counted what we have picked up. We found that uh, they're getting in the guttering and coming through the guttering into the roof and into the rain stores. So we've actually shot them on the roof. And uh, that's where they are, aren't they, Yeah, 
Yeah, we managed to, uh, we didn't film the pickup because obviously we had gloves on, I didn't want to get blood on the camera and stuff because of the disease, but we found some that had come through the roof when we shot them and into the, in the, uh, into the pen, so we picked one up and then the one I shot, what I edited in, you'll see where it's running, uh, it's on the move, we picked that one up, but there's about another 12. Yeah. You can see uh, areas where we've hit them and there's blood, but because it's like stony, <laughs> They bounce the way yeah. too far back. We can't get them. Yeah. But I think farmer's going to be happy with that, isn't he? Yeah, I think Robert will be very happy with that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, if you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And look out for future productions from uh, myself and David at Vermin Hunters TV. Cheers. See you on the next one, folks. <laughs> yeah, here's a close-up. That, that one there. This one here, and that one there. Yeah, some all, big rats. They're all big rats, you know. Yep. Yeah. You can tell, see look, there's a massive tail there, massive tail there, massive tail there. And those two there have got really thick tails. Yeah. And another one there. Look. Yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be happy with that, isn't he? Yeah, I think so, yeah. We'll leave him there, he said uh, he'll pick them up and uh, dispose of them. Yep. So, thoughts on the uh, 940 then, for the Dark Ops? Yeah, it was uh, really good. There was no indication of uh, the rats uh, looking at the camera, uh, noticing the IR, and uh, just turned it right down. Um, Kept the camera low, not the camera low, sorry, the uh, illumination from the screen low. And uh, good picture, and I've nailed them. We did do another experiment off camera, didn't we, at we 15 did, yeah. yards? Yeah. And with how you had it, so you, it was bright for you, but there was I couldn't see any light yeah. where you had it, and that was I was at 15 yards, 15 weren't we? 15 yards, yeah. yeah. No visible light whatsoever, it was crazy. Alright guys, so uh, we're down in Oxfordshire, I'm not going to uh, let you know the location. This is Robert G, an old friend of mine. Nice Hi there. Meet Roger. Hi there. Uh, Roger, Robert, Robert. Has, Robert has contacted me. <laughs> right, uh, we'll see how long it takes. <laughs> right, go. Uh, okay. Alright guys, uh, this is a friend of mine, Robert G. Nice Hi there. Robert. Hi. Uh, we're down in Oxfordshire at the moment. I'm not going to tell you the location because we're just going to keep it the way it is like we do. And you've got a rat problem, Robert. Uh, Robert. Robert. <laughs> Sorry, Davey. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. We Who's splicing it? Go. Okay. Hi. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. Go. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm down in Oxfordshire uh, to see my mate Roger G. Robert. <laughs> All right, another one's just turned up. Go on then, Davy. Whenever you're ready. Empty. Uh, it's a magazine I've put in, it's got... It's got a few holes in it, it's a Russian roulette it's got, one. Yes, <laughs> it's got a few what we've already uh, dispatched. One second.